pepper. Tomato again. Another tomato. Onion. Black beans. Candela. And a bit This recipe is Loki Fajita. I'm Mike Reed. I'm here today with the amazing Mayor's Fund for London, the Kitchen Social Programme, doing our take and make boxes. So I've got an incredible black bean fajita to show you guys today. Really simple recipe to replicate at home. So what I'm going to start off with first is making a super quick tomato salsa. So we're just going to just take off the end of this red onion. We want about a quarter of the onion just to go into the salsa. Just going to do some nice slices. The key with this, not to go all the way to the end, so that you can then run your knife through again, and then this way. So I'm just doing a nice rocking motion with my knife, using the claw method to keep my fingers nice and safe. And then when you get to the end like that, I'm just gonna pop it over to the side. Don't throw away those little bits and pieces. You can keep them for um, soups or anything like that, which you can then blitz up afterwards. So the onion goes straight in. And then we're going to do the same with the tomato. Don't need to be as neat with this one. It can be fairly chunky. The idea of this salsa, just so it's nice, clean and fresh. Gives you a little bit of variety with the fajita. That's straight in. And then we're just gonna use a little bit of the lime. We roll it just to help release that juice as we squeeze. And you see just that little bit of lime, how much juice you get out of it. Give that a bit of a mix. And then we're gonna put it to one side and let that marinate. So now we're gonna go with our peppers, our onion and our garlic. So it's one pepper. We just want to do nice slices. Again, no waste, guys, so cut that bit off the bottom as well. Now one green pepper. And then this little white pith is quite bitter. So you want to take that out. Just make sure you keep your hand on the other side, just so that if you slip, you don't go into yourself. So now we're just doing nice slices. Okay, now for the red onion, we're just going to do slices again. Just want to remove that top root. And then... Okay, so at this stage, we just want to turn our hob up. I'm going to just put a tablespoon of oil in. Just going to let that oil move around. You see you've got a nice hot pan there. And we're just going to pour this all in. Just make sure when you put it in, you almost use the plate as a guard. So if it splashes, it doesn't splash you. And we just want to start sauteing this down till it's almost nice and golden. So whilst that's sauteing, we're going to get two garlic cloves and just chop that up. Now again, you want to go back into the claw position. Just do nice, slow rocking of your knife, keeping your fingers nice and safe. You can see in there just how quickly those onions especially are breaking down. So you just want to keep it moving, just making sure nothing catches. So if you see in here now, you can see how all the onions are pretty much cooked down. The peppers are starting to get a nice bit of char on there. So at this stage, we're going to add the aromats. We're going to add all the spices. So half a teaspoon. That's the smoked paprika that's just gone in. Chili powder and now the cumin. And then we're also going to add our garlic in at this stage as well. And now we're going to let that cook down again. It's so important with your dry spices that you let them cook out at least two minutes just to release all those aromats. Sauté garlic and onion, it's no better smell. 
So you can see this is all now nicely sauteed down. It's so important when you're cooking something like this that you give it the time to really cook slowly. If you do it on too high a heat, it will just burn. Like it's all about letting the natural aromats just come out. When I talk about the aromats, it's the spices, you know, the chili, the cumin, when you dry herbs and natural flowers and things like that, it's like they chill, they stop working. So when you cook it, it basically releases them, okay? Which is why we say you need to cook your dry spices for about two minutes. So this is super quick, super healthy so far. Now we're gonna pop in our black beans, which is just one tin of black beans, which we just drained off. And the great thing about using black beans, guys, rather than something like chicken, for example, it's 93% better off in carbon emissions. Like, it's in an incredibly sustainable way of eating. You know, we should all eat more plant-based foods. And black beans is a great source of protein. So good for you, so healthy. And most importantly, delicious. So we're just gonna cook these down now for another two, maybe three to four minutes actually. Now that's pretty much cooked. We're gonna add in there just to finish it off, a teaspoon of dried coriander. And then the rest of the lime, which we've had earlier, we're gonna squeeze that into. That's just gonna add a little bit more stickiness, a bit more acidity, and just season the dish basically because we don't want to add any extra salt into this. So we're seasoning it with lime juice instead and that coriander. Because you've got to remember that the tortillas, the wraps that we're going to serve it in, it's already got added salt in there. So this is a nice way of giving yourself some extra flavor without having to add that extra salt. So we're just going to stir that through now. If you could smell this at home, honestly, it's on point. Now for the fun part. So to wrap them, there is no right or wrong way to do this, guys. You can just put the pan down in the middle of the table with some wraps, your salsa, and be done. So everyone builds their own. Or you can just spoon into the mix like that. Add in some of your salsa that we made earlier. Just for a bit of freshness and then fold up, fold across, and again. And then you've got your beautiful black bean wrap. Put that one there. Do one more for you. So it's packed full of black beans. You can smell all the spices, the chili, the smoked paprika, the cumin. Got the lovely colors from the peppers as well. A Little bit more of that salsa. And then you wrap up, you wrap across, and you're done. There you have it, guys. So simple, delicious, healthy, full of protein, smoky fajita wrap. You're gonna love it.